It's easier for uh, women to get dates than men, almost always. Uh, women have their inboxes flooded, men not so much. Hi, my name is Roslyn and welcome to Kerker Show, Montreal's bilingual soapbox. This week, we'll be talking to you about sex. Hold on, look around you, sex is everywhere. Don't be surprised to see a church right next to a uh, strip club. Everyone has some kind of interest in sex, whether you're single or coupled. Do you get a lot of men and women uh, pining after you after this you perform? Pining? Always. Even before. Like, I was walking down the street, it's terrible. I have to push them. I'm kidding. I'm desperately sick. <laughs> if you know anyone... Okay. <laughs> My name's Ross. Okay. Apparently, I'm one of the few women that actually messages other people and doesn't wait for them to come to me. And I, I've been rebuttaled by men that are like, Oh, you're looking for a serious relationship. And I'll just sit there and say, well, it's a day at a time, don't you think? I might not consider you relationship material, or I might, so why don't we just take it there? What are your criteria? They have to look like they have to be in shape. I'm the, I'm the shallowest person. I try to pretend that I look for substance. It's not true. You need to have, like, abs and pecs. If you don't, just don't even bother. Women, uh, I don't swing that way. I wouldn't know where to put it. I have one last question about sex. Okay. Uh, just because I'm curious, like you came from a, a Muslim country. Uh, granted, you were living in some quite Western places before you arrived mm -hmm. here, but um, you know, sex is so out in the open in Montreal. I mean, for me, it wasn't a problem because I, I was seeing people topless all the time in Stockholm. But I know that my mother, when she came for a visit, she had a problem, and she was a little bit. She was a little bit intimidated because it was summer, there was a Saint Laurent street festival and everybody's half naked. Oh, well I, I'm, I'm open and I believe in polyamorous relationships and you're monogamous. Uh, who's to say if you didn't have that connection with someone whether or not you would consider it and be exceptional with that person if that bond was strong enough when we only get a few in a lifetime as it is. Um, so I have like these rejection rebuttals but they're honest honest debatable ones as opposed to like let's say a pickup line or whatever the case be wait hold on video games and cookies video games i play video games and eat cookies all night so like i didn't really think about girls or guys i was just like i need to like beat this level and i think that you know people are expressing themselves in whatever way they choose to but from the other side which was my mom's side that it becomes a very polarized thing that my, for my mom it's this extreme thing that she'll never understand, that she feels very far away from. And I don't think she could, I mean slowly after, after the first week she got used to seeing that much skin. But coming from Pakistan it was definitely uh, a big shock for her. So you think that we only get a few kind of loves in our life? It depends on your makeup, like if your makeup is very diversified, if you've traveled all over the place, if you've had a lot of influences, it might be harder to just find one or a few people that connect with you. And then I was like, hey, I should probably be attracted to something. I'm like, guys are hot. Hey, okay, that's figured out. My parents didn't care less. My mom was like surprised when I came out at 18, but she didn't care. My dad's like, oh, I've known since you were four. I remember her coming home one day after the Saint Laurent Street Festival oh, oh, and God. crying. She was up, she was crying. She's like, what happened to clothes? And, uh, and the sense of romance, because she has a different sense of romance about mystery, keeping the mystery, blah, 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 blah. But if you've been used to a set lifestyle most of your life, it might be a little bit easier to find someone who is um, not all over the map completely on their structure, their personality, and thus the chemistry you might have with them as well. I'm one of the few people that I know that has like a completely easygoing, no drama coming out story. Like all my friends were supportive, everyone I went to high school was supportive, my family was supportive. There's absolutely no drama there whatsoever. They couldn't care less. And how did you feel as her daughter being here in Montreal and living and being exposed to all of that? How did you feel? Those about hot men, that? sorry. Yeah, and women. Lots yeah. of hot women. Hot women, hot men. Yes. I mean, and they're fit and everything. Exactly. <laughs> How did you explain her? 
I, I mean, I, she, she had some sort of expectation, but she hadn't expected the, shirt, the skirts to be that short. We couldn't philosophize about it, it's just how it is. It took her a few days to get used to it, but she was just like, wow, people really show whatever they've got. They don't leave much to the imagination. Whereas in the East, there's that whole romance about going really slow and then and, and imagination. And, so yeah. I was surprised they didn't care. Like, I was gonna stand up on a soapbox in my high heels and be like, I'm gay, I'm proud. Yeah, it's a good time to find out. Um, yada yada, that didn't happen. So it's like, okay. You know, you, you have a soapbox? I invested in one, but I had to later sell it when I didn't need it. My name is Stephanie and you're watching Kelly Fish Show.